So what's up? What's up? Not much. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. Good. You looking good. You fabulous looking as good. usual. Thank you. Yeah. Not too shabby yourself, sir. You know. I, I like that. There's some pastels and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, just, you know, wife put this together. Mm -hmm. so, Your wife, his yeah. wife. <laughs> the wife right there. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing today? That's man. That's woman. That's husband. That's wife. And together? We are the Randolphs. Mr. and Mrs. Wedding Ring. I just want to be honest and let down my walls. No, I don't want any problems. No baggage involved. No Please don't tell me forever if we can't evolve. Because I would rather be nothing than something we're not. Because I'm Miss Wedding so, what we got? Let's get to it, the juicy, juicy. All right. Uh, let's see here. The first question is, says, uh, okay, so my lady and I have been together for 10 years. We bought a house together, have a light have life insurance with each other as beneficiaries and neither one of us is going no damn where. Mm -hmm. Joined at the damn hip and everything else, she wants to be married and I don't give a damn about that paper. Mm -hmm. All her married friends are failing in light speed and lightning speed. I feel like what's the point because we are doing so well. Mm -hmm. It ain't broke so I fix it. So what is the purpose of marriage? Signed, I gave her the world already and got another on layaway. Mm. I gave her the world already and got another on layaway. Mm -hmm. Another what? Another piece of the world, I guess. I hope that's what it is. Okay. But basically, he don't want to get married. No, he don't. Want she to wants to be married. Yeah. I, you know, I get that. I hear that a lot. Like They've been together 10 years. Yes, yeah, that's, that's, get that's, over it. You're yeah, not getting the ring. Yeah, don't look yeah, really if, good he, if he ain't proposing you in ten years, it, it's. I don't it's know. Not the stranger happen. things has happened though. Yeah, I mean, I've seen people get married after twenty years, which I, I never understand that for the life of me. But okay. So for I can say for me, I don't know. It's just marriage is solidifies us. If anything was to happen to you, that's the first thing I think about. If something was to happen to you with your parents or your siblings, your next of kin would not be me. No, well. Unless and that's like written in a will or something, right? Right. So for me, I need I need a surety. I need some reassurance there to know that. But he said they got life insurance. Right. They I mean mm -hmm. and they both names on the house. Right. So if it was to go to court, the names are already in place where they need to be. I'm sorry. I want your name, sir. I want your name. Yeah, yeah, but the the and then mar marriage is marriage is just see see when when you when you here's the thing when when you're just dating, there is always that outlet to just leave. No. See, when you marry, marry, being married, it, 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 it makes you more responsible. It makes you have to work through the- Not the, necessarily, the, that's not what they're supposed to that's do. That's what they're supposed to do. But it just gives you a you, you second, you don't, you're not as quick to run. Exactly. And it, and it makes you, uh, what, what's the word you always say? Um, not responsible, but- um, Well, they do have a sense of responsibility. Yeah. But but so for us, I could say for us. For us just to be not to be it's just it's it's, it's we, we we live on a certain principle and right. our principles is right. Christianity right. principles. That's what it is. Right. That's 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 just for us. Right. For us, we not when you understand who's the orchestrator of marriage, then you know that's just our take on it. It's bigger than for us than a ring because we didn't we didn't have these rings in the beginning of our no, marriage. We didn't. Um, as a matter of fact, um, 
My first ring was from Saks Fifth Avenue, picked out with my cousin. Him and my cousin picked it out, and I went and bought him the diamond ring. Um, that's just the honest God. That's just the honest truth. And then we didn't have the big elaborate wedding until 10 years after, right? Right. So for us, it's just principles, and they're, and they're just godly principles. That's just, we just believe that God is the orchestrator of marriage, and that's we, we're going to live by his principles and guidelines. Right. For everyone else, you have to do what works for you. This works for us. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's my belief, and I'm going to say our belief, I guess I'll say, that you're not tested really to the real trials and tribulations come along until you, say you actually, I, I say I do. Right, because, I mean, let's let's just, just keeping it real, when, when you when you dating for that long, you really playing around in the devil's playground. Yeah. And he ain't going to really lay hands on you like that because you, he already got you. He already got so you. So that's our sentiment. You. Right, that's but our I don't sentiment. But I don't want to really just dive into that. Right. They have to go to Covenant Keepers to get all the details of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. But I mean, mar marriage is is important, and, it's just, and you know, if, if you end up having kids or something, or if you already got yeah. kids, it just sets the tone for, you know, uh, the kids that's watching yeah. generations to come. That, yeah. you know, is is because you you it's just not it's 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 like eating a a sandwich without the, all the toppings on it, man. You just you, it's it's gotta go on the sandwich, and then. What's the big, what's, why not marry? What's so, why, why, my question would be to the person that's questioning me. Right. Why, why not marry? Yeah, why not marry? Because you've been with this person 10 years yeah, already. What, what's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah. Now, it can't be just some nuptials, some vows you're saying out of your mouth. Right. Does it make you more responsible, more committed? So I, I, I'm, I wonder if you plan to be with them, why not marriage? Yeah. If that's your intentions. Yeah. It's, it's, I think when, when they question, when they ask that question, it's always a, a underlying issue yeah, that has Yeah, and it's been, bigger than it's bigger than that. Yeah, the ring. Yeah, it's bigger than yeah. much bigger than the ring. Yeah. So so we encourage people to do what's best for you, um, and what works for you. Right. But if marriage is on the table, and and that's something that you guys didn't discuss initially, I think that should have been discussed initially. Yeah, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. I mean, in the beginning. In the beginning, that's what people fail at a lot. Yeah. Y'all don't talk about the good shit in the beginning. Y'all being too busy engaged and trying to smash and all that. There, that ain't gonna cut it. You need to literally have a conversation about what you want to, what you want, where you see yourself in the next yeah, five years. Yeah. And if he or she says, "I want to be married with children," and and that's not on your, that's not on your agenda, Man. then there's your exit right there because you already told me you, you want to be married. Right. So, make it make sense. So to to engage in it when you know that's not what you want, mm -hmm. then you have to deal with what you get. But I know what it be. What they think they're gonna put that thing on them and change his mind. You gonna get me around. Yeah, cause you can't change nobody's mind. Well, you can. Some you you, you can, change, but some men. But when, when, some men are concrete and. Yeah, sad. when they got it in their mind, I ain't getting married. And if they tell you they don't want to be married, and that's what it is. Yeah, I mean, you can't be. You know, you, you you can't be complaining to your girls that he ain't married me yet. Yeah. Well, well, he you, told you that. He told you that already. So, yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. All right. Next question. Um. It says, uh, y'all help me out. I have I have big goals, and my man is content with his nice job. He makes good money, but I see us doing power couple things, mm. not just working and prospering uh, moderately. I see so much, and my hubby hubby is near is nearsighted. Do I buy him a damn telescope so he can see far? Damn, what do you do when your spouse doesn't have vision? Mm. Signed, I need to be an eyeball surgeon. Mm. So, I think that, do you think that's kind of be us in sometimes? Cause my platform be like, lights, camera, action, Hollywood. You be like, I'm staying right here in Detroit. Well, not so much that I'm staying in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you blow up and you gotta go to Hollywood, I'm going with you. But see, but, but what if I can't blow up until I get to Hollywood? Detroit ain't doing all that no more. No. Motown is not Michael Jackson and Anita Baker and all the greats and and you know it's not that anymore. No, right, I mean, right. I mean, but it, I mean, if, they all went to Atlanta. <laughs> I'm just saying, Atlanta's the new Hollywood right now. Yeah, Atlanta's what's popping. Texas is even popping. So, I mean, what do you do? That's one of them. Deep conversations and, and, and compromise because the one thing you don't want to do is step on somebody's dream. Yeah. If that's if that's they dream to do something, then there are ways to figure out how you can, you know, go after your dream 
And then, you know, I come shortly thereafter because, you know, you gotta be you gotta be ready to step out on faith. So or let's something. just talk about us. We got I gotta wait five years because you ain't gonna retire to another five years, right? If it's five years, if it's then. No, I'm I'm out at five. You sure? I'm I'm positive. I'm he out at five. He told me this before. Well, I mean, things change. When I told you that before, you know, things had changed. You told me at 20, then you told me at 25, and now it's 25, it's here, well, it's coming on. Well, things had changed with my pension and everything, so that changed the game. Ram, 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 ram. Ram, ram, ram. I'm just saying. That's what happened. Yeah, it happened. We talked about this already. Yeah, but I, I, I'll be, what, 50 or 30 years? So I, I'm, I'm planning on having certain, being, you know, certified, having degrees and, you know, certain things by the end. And... I should be able to completely leave out. Come, well, come. I'm getting, well, I will say I'm aging gracefully. So, yeah. praise God for that. But mm -hmm. here's the deal. I don't want to wait till you 50. I'm not going to wait till you 50. If I decide, I made a decision to stay be here and do family first. Yeah. Because that's what's important to me. My role as a wife, my role as a mom, taking care of my children, taking care of my family, that's priority priority to me because the one thing about Hollywood and fame and fortune, it don't take care of you back. It don't love you back. No, um, no. And when you at that bottom, at times you're going to need the people that you love and they say that they love you. So that's important to me. However, if I choose, I want to run with the big leagues. What does that look like for us? If I had a contract right now that says, D, you got to move to California or D, you got to move to New York to do this. What happens? It depends on how much money on the flow. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a factor. But but hold on, hold on. But I will say this: if it's a, if it's if you can sustain until I get there, then by so all I means, just fly back and forth. No, I'll do the flying back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you want to come back home when when you can, then cool. You know what I'm saying? We'll alternate. But I'm sure that wouldn't be hard for us to work out. Hmm. Not for the Randolphs. I don't think that'd be hard for us to work out. So for the couple that's asking, or the person that's asking, um, again, that comes with conversation and compromise. Exactly. Right? Just having to talk about it, let's say, you know, asking them to compromise and give you maybe a time frame on what your vision is, you know, mm -hmm. what you're trying to achieve. And um, say if you need six months, six months, okay, if this don't work, then we'll have this. Okay, then we'll fall back from it. You know what I'm saying? If this doesn't happen in this time frame, then we can pull back. Right. I think that that's what should occur. I think that's best because sometimes you can't you can't expect somebody to see your vision if you're not breaking it down to them. Yeah. You have to make them. You have to make them first of all explain your vision, and then make them feel comfortable with the transition. You can't, especially if it involves money. Right. Especially if it involves money. And see, with men. We like stability. Well, I know I do. I like stability. I can't be running around unstable. If I can't, if I'm thinking about, if I gotta think about what I'm about to eat next, no, nah, I, I can't, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, I could probably go to New York and get a job with no problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if I had to do that, I would do that until I got, you know what I'm saying, until I get where I wanna go. Mm -hmm. But as long as it's in support of your dreams, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have no problem with that. Okay. Okay. So that's what we suggest suggest you do. Yeah. Okay. Gotta talk about it. Yeah. Next Let's question. Go to our next question here. Uh okay, this is a little lengthy. It says, uh, help me out, y'all. In a long distance relationship, mm. oh Lord. And I love it. Mm. I see my lady once per month, and we spend about a week together. The time we spend is great. In between then, the exchanges virtually are great, but it's not enough for her. We spend a lot of time talking about not spending time, and it's crazy to me. Is it true that distance makes the heart grow fonder? And do eventually one of us have to uproot and move? I'm asking because I'm tired of the negative side, and another woman is being real nice to me. Mm. I'm being strong, but man, that's the problem. Houston. I just want my lady to chill. Mm. I don't want to slip and fall into some some poop, some, some poop pie. Poom pie? No, poutine pie. Oh, poutine pie. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. Sign holding on for dear life. No, signing. 
the hoe that's at home. Cause that's what he had to do. That's what this is about. Cause he tricking. And that is well, you ain't gonna don't know if he tricked. First of all, sir. Are we gonna live apart? Heck no. Okay then. You can't in a month? What is, what is this? No. The hell? What what? A week went by and you was telling me it look. Mm. Is you serious? That's not a relationship. That's no. a situation shit. Right, right. That's, Nobody that's... got time for that. That's not a relationship at all. And then how do you build and get to know one another and yes. all of that without spending time? You can't. See, 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 the the term, the uh, absence make the heart grow fonder, that only applies to, I'm going to say it only applies to married people. That, that's just my opinion. I only say that because when... That's, you can't say that. Well, no, I... Because when people are new, it's exciting then. And when they're not around them, Remember how we were? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, but, you not but, being there is like, wait. But you in a whole nother state, though. Yeah, but it's the same thing. It's the I same. I can't wait to get back. It's the same thing. Distance is distance. Yeah. But then the the the, the, the flip, the negative side to that is, you know, she in this state, you in that state, you going to hang out with friends. Like he said, it's a, it's a the lady. Pudding. The <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> to my friends. Like, really, that's, that's the problem right there. Like, so now you're intertwining your time with somebody else. Who you trying? Pick a side, sir. It's just real simple. You gotta pick. You gotta pick and choose. You can't just be all over the place and willy nilly. This and and then and then that depends on like age group too. Like, yeah. what age are you? Because most like when you 60, you have more tolerant for stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even then, some people aren't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because now you like depending on how, what your life situation is or has been. If you haven't had no relationship with somebody, say if you've been married forty of your sixty years, mm -hmm. and then you get to this space, this space where you're out of state and you made some met somebody and y'all both separate, you probably can, you probably can do that thing for probably a year or so with the distance, right? right. But there's gonna come a time if we're working on a real serious relationship. You gotta be there. You gotta be there. We gotta talk about what we're gonna do, what's the plan, where we moving to, if right. we moving, if we ain't moving by, sir, go over there with Miss Pudding Pops, okay? <laughs> that's where you need to be. Like really? <laughs> that's the because that's the problem right there. But he sounds like the guy that don't want to get married. And tricking and cheating. Well, you don't know if he's tricking. Sorry, he, he just, just said, said the lady pudding. was being. He said put. This is what he said. He said, I don't want to slip and fall into some pudding and pie. And she being real nice. What did you just do the with head your head motion? She doing something. Something she doing something. She giving head. She, she doing something. Hey, she could just be being, being nice to how, him. What is she being? Well, what and what and what? And what magnitude? Like, what are you? How? how what well, is, he wasn't specific. He ain't got to be. But, but obviously he she ain't doing nothing sexual. Pudding. pudding. He said he don't want to slip and fall into some pudding. pudding pie. Okay. It's another woman there, I believe. Well, clearly, because she's being real nice. Exactly. And that's the pudding pie he saw my flat falling into. Yeah, he don't want to fall into that. Yeah, because it's already slippery. Well, it's, well, it's slippery because... It's already slippery because she on his knob. That's why. <laughs> he's she's already not, there. That's you not car. Stop. It's well, you don't, to me. No, Where, it's not. I'm just getting between. Let's get. Let's, let's part no, the seat. No, let's just you, part the seat and get on where we need to be. This is where we are, babe, sir. You babe, slippery. Babe, babe. You slippery. He's sliding. He's Because he's... I'm just saying. And, but that's because What's of the... What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, but that's sir? But that's due to the distance, no, that's, though. That's, but that's due to her doing something. She ain't got no business. He's slippery. Being nice. She could be buying him lunch. She could be, I don't know. Lunch ain't Talking slippery. about relationship lunch stuff. Lunch ain't slippery. Listen, you know, the first first thing that happens is that conversation get good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So... She probably just being nice to him and, you know, maybe pick him up from work or Man, drop him off or something. That's not how men respond, babe. Men don't respond. Men respond is either yay or nay. They know when somebody wants them or when they're wanted. You know, yeah. okay? But I, I guess I'm just, I'm looking You're at the fact he be... said he don't want to slip and fall into no pudding pie. Because he already the slopes is already slippery and he realizes that they are. Okay? Okay. So that's just what it is. He's something. So you think he already fell in it? Yeah, absolutely. Something. <laughs> Something's going on. And you need to get back to your girl, okay? Yeah. Pick a side. And then you just 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 decide on this long distance relationship. Pick a side, sir. The long the long distance is allowing too many things to get between y'all. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. And See, your heart ain't you, growing fonder. Right. And, and when you're in close proximity, 
there's no room for nobody to slide in unless you open that door. Exactly. But see, the fact that she in a whole nother state is room for other women to come around because they, first of all, they don't see her. And when you missing her, who's gonna be there? Yeah, and to you feel you those know, slippery slopes. Yeah, because you, you, know, you feeling frisky and you know, old girl call you and talking sweet in your ear. Mm -hmm. Talking. She's not talking no more. Okay, motioning. Mm -hmm. All that. Uh, making it slippery for that's, putting that's, past. That's, that's fuckery. I don't like that. Did you say that? Yeah. I don't like that. Pick a side. That's all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> God, dog. <laughs> really? That's how you... That's how we end it. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> share with her too. <laughs> yeah, share with her too. Is the, oh, oh my goodness! But thanks for watching the show, guys. Um, like I said before, keep the questions, comments coming in, and uh, you know we we're, we we will be uh, excited to oblige your request and answer your questions. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Miss Wedding Ring.